Parapsychology is the study of anomalous events. This includes phenomena such as ESP and psychokinesis, which cannot currently be explained in terms of conventional science. Pseudoscience is the term used to describe any area of research that presents itself as science but lacks many of the features of the scientific method. For example, pseudoscientific research findings are not validated, theories and hypotheses lack falsifiability, findings are not replicable, there's no agreed theory to explain findings of studies, and research is subjective and biased rather than objective. Parapsychology has been considered to be pseudoscientific because some of the research claims to be scientific but lacks many of the criteria required to be considered a true science. Some research in the field of parapsychology is published in sources which are not validated, like magazines, newspapers and websites. Scientific research, however, is published in academic journals that undergo validation processes like peer review before they enter the public domain. But this is not always the case with research into the paranormal. There's a problem with the replicability of findings of studies in parapsychology. Although a number of studies into ESP and PK have suggested that these are real phenomena, other researchers have failed to replicate these positive findings. Parapsychology has also been criticised as theories and hypotheses about the existence of phenomena such as ESP, PK and psychic healing are not falsifiable as claims cannot be proved wrong. For example, research that does not show evidence of ESP or PK can be explained away in terms of poor methodology or the unpredictability of psychic forces, but negative findings should be regarded as evidence that the phenomenon are not real and have no supernatural basis. This is made worse by the lack of theory about how psychic forces might work to explain the findings of studies. Research in the field of parapsychology is also heavily affected by the sheep-goat effect. In science, the beliefs of the scientists should not influence the outcome of a study because of the high regard for objectivity. In parapsychology, however, whether or not a researcher believes in psi phenomena such as ESP and PK seems to dictate whether a study reveals positive or negative findings. This bias means the research process is highly subjective, which does not fit the criteria required for a true science. Parapsychology sometimes misplaces the burden of proof. In science, the onus is on the theorist to prove their claims. However, some researchers of paranormal phenomenon make claims that are not proven, but instead they place the responsibility for testing their ideas on others who may be sceptical. Although some parapsychology certainly falls into the category of being pseudoscientific, it could be considered unfair to assume all research in this field does not approach research in a scientific manner. The absence of scientific features isn't just a problem for parapsychology. Areas of mainstream psychology, such as Freud's theories, lack falsifiability and are subjective, but they're still widely used and respected. Although some research in parapsychology is not validated before it's published, there are peer-reviewed parapsychology journals, and organisations like the Parapsychological Association are striving to take a scientific approach as possible. Parapsychological research has also appeared in mainstream psychology journals. So it could be argued that more modern research into paranormal phenomena is less pseudoscientific than early research. Research in this area has been considered to lack objectivity and controls, but this is not true of all research in this field. For example, a study showed that many published pieces of research in parapsychology journals are actually well designed and controlled. So although some research in parapsychology does seem to be more false science than true science, it might be unfair to criticise all research in the field in this way. It's important to consider the quality of research to avoid being deceived by the claims of those that might prey on the vulnerable, but parapsychology could still be considered a valuable area of research, as it could be argued that researchers have a social responsibility not to shy away from unpopular areas of research, and a greater knowledge of things like ESP, PK or psychic healing, for example, could have important applications.